Uh, invoking God's blessings, uh, I take this privilege to inaugurate the office of the Vivekananda Foundation, Welfare Foundation, on uh, uh, 12th January 2021. Sir, now we are uh, uh, going to celebrate the mm. cake cutting ceremony. Okay, okay. Uh, because uh, today is the 150 birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda, and uh, Swami Vivekananda's birth anniversary has been declared as the National Year Day mm. in the year 1984. Mm. And from that day onward, it is from 1995. Uh, so we have been uh, celebrating. Uh, National Youth Day as the birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda. So this is the very significant day for all the youth of our country and this is the really unique privilege for everybody, every one of us present here to celebrate, to be here. And we are very much privileged uh, to have our sir, uh, sir, sir Albert Sri Albert Ijan, so who have been helping us in, in different activities. So whenever we are in need um, and so whenever so we are in uh, various crises, sir. So thank you so much, sir, for uh, being uh, among us. Uh, so, okay, cutting ceremony, sir, in the name of Swami okay, Vivekananda. Okay. Uh, who, who cut? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Happy birthday, Swami Ji. Happy birthday, Swami Ji. Happy birthday to you, Swami Vivekananda. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Privilege to have you amongst us. Thank you so much sir for being here. So moving ahead, I'd like to request Sri Arijit Sharma to present. I think it's a very pleasant and blessed day for all of us. So on this auspicious occasion, I'd like to take the blessings of Swamiji. I welcome our honorable chief guest, Sri Albert Azu. Thank you so much sir for giving your precious time with us, our advisor, Sri Vishnu Tajarji. We have got our another advisor, yes. Sir Sri Ganesh Ganesh Ramaji. Our president of BWF, Sir Niranjan Shah, and of course all the wonderful members and the youth wings of VWF, that is Vivekananda Welfare Foundation. Now today we are here actually for a very special reason and not one reason but many reasons so the most important reason for us together here is we are first of all we are celebrating the birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda now Swami Vivekananda he is considered as one of the greatest spiritual leaders as well as, as, well as social leader now he believed that the nation can be easily molded or given a new form only if the youths come together. He believed that the nerves of steel and muscles of iron can only take this nation to a great height. And for this, the government of India in 1984 declared that on his birthday, the National Youth Day will be celebrated. And from 1985 onwards, we started celebrating the National Youth Day. Now, of course, if I start talking about Swamiji, the days, the years, the months won't be enough. Moving on to the another reason why we are here today, because we founded this Vivekananda Welfare Foundation exactly before six years. 
and today we are stepping into the seventh year of our foundation within the last six years we have done numerous activities numerous social service we try to reach out to those who were unprivileged we try to bring changes in the life of the people we tried our best and we are trying our best and of course it is not possible without the help of each and every one out here and of course the youth the strength of every organization these days because in india we have got 50 percent population belongs to the youth and now if the youths are not molded or not guided enough the nation cannot prosper so today on this occasion we are so much privileged to get this new office this vivekananda welfare foundation office finally among in the middle of the town and thank you so much to Dimapur Municipal Council, thank you sir and thank you each and everyone who supported and guided us so that we made this day a really possible one. It was a dream and today is like a dream come true. Of course there are miles to go, this is just a beginning. We saw up to 2020 there are so many things going on, we all have suffered, we all have struggled and it's a blessing we all are here today. And let's hope that in 2021, we will move ahead with lots many developments, with lot many prosperities, and with lot many changes in the life of the people. So without taking much time, I'd like to congratulate each and every one, everyone who were there in the front line or behind the scene to make this particular foundation, the sixth year completion, a great and fruitful one. Thank you so much. I, on behalf of the entire Vivekananda Welfare Foundation members, I'd like to give a big round of applause and I request all of you to give a big round of applause for this foundation. Now, of course, uh, moving on with the program, I'd like to request our one of the most dedicated and sincere member of this particular foundation who are there in this organization since day one. I'd like to request Sri Arijit Sharma to start ahead this day with a beautiful song. So, Sri Arijit Sharma. Very good morning to one and all present over here. I am privileged, it's my honor that I have been given with the opportunity to present an opening song. So I would like to sing a song which is penned by our Swamiji and here it is with everybody's permission. The name of the song is Arise, Awake and Stop Now. Uh, I would like to have beatings with uh, everyone, can you please join me? Arise and awake and stop now till the goal is reached. Onwards, onwards, never look at the back as the life is full of dreams. Arise and awake and stop now till the goal is reached. Onwards, onwards, never look at the back as the life is full of dreams. Arise and awake and stop now. Where is the hell? Where is the heaven? It is not hidden in man. Where is the hell? Where is the heaven? It is not hidden in man. If you don't see birth, life of millions. If you don't see birth, life of millions. All your efforts gone in vain. Arise and awake and stop now. Please. <clears throat> Before anything else, I would like to pay my respect and tribute and also wish a happy birthday to Swamiji. Respected President Vivekananda Welfare Foundation uh, and his colleagues, the respected advisors of the foundation all the dynamic and active uh, members of the foundation. Uh, on this auspicious day, I bring greetings 
and I also uh, congratulate you on the numerous uh, achievements that you have uh, made in these uh, six years. Uh, Swami Vivekananda he is uh, not only he was not only a spiritual leader, but uh, he is also he was also uh, a very progressive thinker, and uh, he was a very strong advocate for this uh, social upliftment and social uh, enlightenment. Uh, I think uh, we all know what he has done. He has created an impact not only in the country but in the Western world uh, during those uh, very tricky and uh, difficult times. Uh, Swami Vivekananda Foundation, uh, since its uh, inception, I think uh, he has uh, done a lot and the ideals, the principles, the teachings of uh, Swami Vivekananda has uh, been a source of inspiration for uh, many people and I would also urge you to carry forward his uh, ideals and principles through your good deeds. Uh, 2020 was a difficult uh, year for all of us. Many people thought that it was uh, very unfortunate, it was a disaster, uh, people thought that it was very unlucky year. But on a positive note, I think the foundation, the Swami Vivekananda Foundation has uh, considered that as a challenge, as an opportunity to serve the people. So for many people, it was unfortunate, but for Swami Vivekananda Welfare Foundation, uh, it was an opportunity to serve the people. and. Uh, uh, that is also one of the main ideal of our strategy, to serve uh, mankind, to serve uh, humanity. So he stood for all those ideals, <coughs> brotherhood, uh, humanity, uh, cutting across all uh, communities, religions. Uh, he has uh, done a lot, and he has inspired a lot in that regard to promote the spirit of oneness. So uh, I would like to urge the foundation to carry on your good works and also uh, spread the message of our Swamiji. Uh, we have uh, set up a very uh, nice office. I can only say that it's uh, more than a humble beginning, but it is my hope and wish that you grow uh, every day in strength and may your uh, good works inspire so many other people. Dimapur is one city where the, where the population is from a different background, different communities from all over the country. The few Dimapur has uh, many people that consider Dimapur as their home. So one very unique and good thing about Dimapur is that in spite of uh, differences uh, in terms of background, uh, I think uh, Dimapur is very uh, peaceful and uh, people are very tolerant and we all uh, feel that Dimapur is our home. So with that spirit, let us also try to promote peace within the town and also uh, Many people, many organizations think that uh, they you know, they have that idea that uh, taking initiative uh, for doing something good for the society, I mean, uh, it should have a very uh, big impact. Uh, people like to start with a time, but it's not necessary, whatever we can. I think we should also believe in starting in a small way, in a small, humble way, and believe in a progressive uh, you know, goals. So, uh, like I've said, you have uh, done a lot and you're still doing it. And it is uh, my humble wish that uh, you will uh, soar uh, greater heights. And in that regard, 
I would also urge the foundation to coordinate with the Timor Municipal Council. We're all here for the welfare of the people. So the Timor Municipal Council uh, also strives to spare no effort to, I mean, uh, to uh, do something good for the society. So in that, we can always collaborate. We can also uh, share so many things in terms of ideas also. So uh, together, we will also try to uh, bring some uh, positive changes in a society, even if it's in a small way. So with these few words, once again, I congratulate the foundation. It's uh, six Foundation Day. And also, uh, let us continue to uphold the ideals, the teachings, uh, the principles of our great leader, uh, Swami Vivekananda. Thank you.